In this week's Positively Cincinnati, a life rule. Taking time for yourself helps you be your best for everything and everyone else. One Cincinnatian living that mantra showed me how he does it early today. It is six o'clock in the morning, kind of early, but in journalism, you meet your stories where and when they are. In running shoes outside WCPO on Gilbert Avenue, I met up with Mike Morosky. Howdy. You probably know him as a school board member, but this story is about Mike the Runner. We're at mile 11 and a half. When you join him, you have to keep up to hear his stories, like how during really bad weather, he puts in his miles at a parking garage. Is there a nice feature if it's too snowy to get out, you know? Uh-huh. I never would have thought of it. Right? Or who has good eats downtown? Have you ever been to Uncle Mo's? He says it is the place for gyros. When I stopped to shoot video, Mike ran in place. He's all about constant movement until he's done. Average pace, 10, 20, yeah. 9 per mile. His phone tracks everything. This was a half marathon day. And the very first one I ever measured was uh -huh. on June 13th. The last year I called it the inaugural Flying James Half Marathon. James is so important to Mike, he took me to meet him. And his wife, Katie, the two people who inspire him to put his best foot forward. I run 92.4 miles a week minimum. It all started when Mike learned he was going to be a dad. He wanted to get healthy for his son. Better food, gave way to stairs. That turned into wanting to do 10,000 steps a day. That turned into wanting to do 20,000 steps a day. Then James was born, so he took along his baby and a camera. Before I knew it, um, before James was five months old, I had walked to all 52 Cincinnati neighborhoods with James. It's an intense experience, and uh, it's reminded me how beautiful the city is, how lucky we are. And it also, you know, quite frankly, reminds me of the intense, you know, disparities from street to street. He has pictures of the first 365 days of his journey all in one place because his mom made photo albums of the treks he tracked on social media. In this post, he said, two years ago, I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs without my inhaler. Today, I ran 35 miles. As for how he maps some of his routes, Katie helps. She's like, you could run to the airport. I said, yes, I could. <laughs> and so I did. Mike says the running is calming and makes him more mindful. It just means means the world that uh, he really does it for us and as a, as, as a family as a whole. I've always been motivated by doing good for other people and the community. And I've never really taken the time to do it for me. And turns out doing it for me makes me better doing it for other people. And we could not do this story without showing you this comparison to see the health impact the running has had. Check out these before and after pictures. Wow. In complete transparency now, Mike is running for re-election to the school board, but that's a couple months away. His next big goal is to run to Indiana on September 18th. Back to that school board election now. There are multiple contenders. They are Pamela Bowers, Brandon Craig, Gary Favors, Kareem Moffitt, and Mary Weinberg, in addition to Morosky, of course. Voters will be asked to select four of them for a four-year term.